Hello, Facebook, YouTube. All right, got this interesting message. If any other my messages are interesting, you know, I don't know. Up to the individual, how they perceive things from an honest perspective and not a prejudiced perspective. It doesn't agree with their ideal terminology of how they look at life. But, you know, it's for those that, you know, that maybe you can make sense of life if you uh, question what's been given to, question the, the, word, the messages I give unto you with an honest viewpoint and with a desire to really want to find the truth and probably not be upset because you thought you had the truth, but it really wasn't the truth. But, you know, hey. Fools keeps producing each and every day because of that mindset. Anyway, topic of this message is called the reality of big time heaven, small time earth. Big time heaven, small time earth. You know, now notice the time. You know, I hope you notice that time. I know I my some of my messages kind of seem like I'm trying to put a little pizzazz and flash to it but it's really talk I kind of try to really give you an idea of what you I want you to see concerning of what I'm saying uh it's all about time now hmm how long would you last in the world these days let me see here hmm I hope that you're not thinking and meditating because you are not in a good position to really make good judgment if it took you that long to realize that. But the long, how long you're supposed to last in this world? Close to temple. Hello, how you doing, sir? Welcome to wonderful day. Yes. But, uh, you know, temple. That's that. How long is temporal? Hmm. Well, the closest I heard a person live to is the... Huh? Hundred and twenty something I heard. That's a long time. How you doing, sir? Uh it's a long time, you know. Well, seemed like a long time, but you know, if you I don't wanna average out the the deaths and lives that, you know, happen in the earth. This generation, no, I do not want to know that average. You know? Uh it will be probably very pathetic average concerning the world system and we live in that is following of course the god of this world that's all about confusion and conflict and chaos and no i don't want to know the true percentage of how how much a percentage of people in different age brackets live long in this world in the united states or anywhere no i don't want to know because it's just upsetting for my kingdom perspective, because my kingdom perspective is of a creator promised us an everlasting life. Everlasting life. And Jesus said he comes to give us life and life more abundantly. So my spectrum of time existing is a something quite, what's the topic of the message? Big. But this little time earth spectrum that people are gravitating to because, you know, it's so close to us. Oh, the earth, the ground, we're so close to the ground and when you're so close to the ground, the ground becomes more uh, valuable because it's something that's close to you and you can see in your natural eyes that there's something there that is a church you could see touch feel feel taste and you know those five senses and yeah and it has some what benefits that you know it will give us you know each and every day and you know and it's could, could be something that you will want to enjoy spending your time in, you know but spending how long? Spending how long to every individual? How long are you spending time on here? 
Is it guaranteed to know how long are you going to exist on this earth? Is there a reality that you like, oh, dude, there's a person, you know, that's walking down the street that gets hit by a car and loses life can say, oh, man, let me, let me, you know, clear out my life, say, uh, my bank account or my life savings and, you know, give this, you know, because my life is, you know, ending, you know, today and, and tell my, all my family that I, you know, I'm gone and I'll see them later, you know. Is that the reality of our life expectancy that we can predict that reality? How you doing? And do that protocol, you know? Can we do that? Hello, how y'all doing? Chill out. Y'all chilling out big time. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And the thing is, are we, you know, uh, is that reality what I'm giving y'all guys? Or it's this crazy fantasy, you know? Well, the thing is, y'all know what reality is. Don't play stupid of reality. Don't, you know, really think that uh, you really, you know, can live long in a small time world that especially a small time world that majority of people are embracing a negative idea of how to live and treat one another and be with one another that is not the good the good re that's not a good reason to really see yourself really existing long in this place because everybody on that negative very badly hello how you doing and it just ain't going to work the way you, Satan's deception of how he gets everybody, you know, in traps. The way you want it to work is not going to work the way you want it to work. As much as you want it to work, lust of the flesh, lust means simple two definitions, I want. <laughs> This doesn't, it doesn't work that way. It works out because of unfortunately, tragically, circumstances concerning the decisions of many people that are pretty much care less about, you know, how they treat each other and care less about themselves. People expectancy can be shortened quickly. I didn't make the rules. I, I, God taught me to learn to follow his rules. Saying and follow his rules, you can see things for what it is and not what it's supposed to be, according to how we want it to be. You know, people with those attitudes, you know what I'm saying? I want it to be like I want you to straighten up, I want this to be right. I want it. they want these things, but yet they have a negative attitude, they have a negative, you know, or a speak negative, do negative things, and they want things to be. Be positive around them. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. That is an illusion of confusion. If you keep expecting something positive and you know you are putting and listening to negative things, and, you know, and let it influence your mind and you want a positive outcome somewhere in your life and want people to, how you doing? And want people to believe that, you know, a positive life can uh, be, you know, birthed out of negative living. Which what Satan really wants you to buy into. Those lies. But guess what? They're going to be lies as much as you desire to believe that or not. So, I hope I'm making sense of y'all small expectancy of living on small time earth now if you oh yeah I mean, if you love the stuff that I told you the lies that you know uh, the loose Satan gives you uh, believing that you got this small time treasure that I hope I presented to you that is a small time treasure um uh, you're gonna I'm gonna call you a fool but you're going to say, you know, Mac, I am not a fool. Da, 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 da. You don't call me this. Well, here's the thing, you know, that I learned about, um, you know, 
name calling, you know? Names, well, in anything, a word has this thing called a definition. And a definition is about defining the kind of person that you are. You know what I'm saying? You, you, uh, you may not believe that I call you a fool if you, you know, think this world is a, you know, investment is great to invest in in this small time. You, you may not believe that you're a fool, but guess what? Your defin how you defined yourself concerning, you know, uh, this world system uh, is going to make you facilitate that you will do, become a fool, that you will do what a fool do. You will fall, find a treasure, you will invest in a treasure that won't last forever. That your actions will always tell you that you're a fool, no matter how much you don't believe as much I tell you this. How you done? So I hope and I hope and encourage y'all that you will be a part of a better investment that can truly give you a great investment called the big time forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever kingdom of God is your better treasure that I hope you will you know come to understand and get rid of the temporal nonsense from out of you so you can be a part of something forever and ever and ever and ever and put it in you as you on earth because that's what Jesus said you know uh, thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven he wants to put this forever existence inside you on earth but you know if we keep believing the lies of the you know television and radio and the environment around us to tell us that these temporal you know items that substance that brings only abuse inside of our lives and have us abusing other people and have us mistreating other people that will keep their lives short and that's small time earth going on I mean if you believe that life is something that is better pleasure you're going to be a fool but I'm all about the kingdom of God and telling the truth that uh, the true life and life more abundantly is in a heavenly kingdom that has a uh, heavenly father that is praying and crying out and hoping that you will take his invitation of his son Jesus Christ and his you know blood inside your heart that you will you know get big time concerning heaven and lose a small time on earth. That's the message. Hope you got it. To God be the glory here and forever and in Jesus' name. Amen.